I have two little theories. Well, three, if you like. Um, one is that the fact that I'm sitting here as a broadcaster on a national radio station, um, a, 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 an, an enjoyer of some popularity and I don't really know my way around this subject and I should but the fact that I don't I think is indicative of our education system something Martin Lewis Lord Martin of Lewis as he should be soon uh, would be very passionate in support of the idea that we don't get taught anything like enough about finances and and again without laboring the point because you know I'm, I'm currently doing all right I don't need to find out more some people will know it inside out the poorer you are i guess the more conscious you will be of how now but maybe not even that we're just not taught about personal finance in the way that we should be i can tell you about uh, the reign of charlemagne in the byzantine empire but i can't tell you about the relationship between national insurance <coughs> mark in staffordshire suggests that linda up in dumfries is slightly mistaken because the new uh, uh, bit of the national insurance increase is a levy, so she'll have to pay that, but she'll only pay that. So it's a new 1.25%. Again, I, I should know this, and I don't. You know me. Some subjects, it sounds like I really know what I'm talking about. So that's problem number one. Problem number two, I think, is our attitude to tax. I don't know whether this is unique to the UK. I suspect it. Well, it obviously isn't, because you see it a lot in American politics as well. Why don't we just give seats in the House of Lords to the people that pay the most income tax? rather than people that donate to the Conservative Party. I know this sounds a bit simplistic, but I, I genuinely don't think that it is. I, I really think that this is a good idea. I think you should be banned from getting a peerage if you've donated to a political party, and you should be guaranteed a peerage with some checks and balances just to make sure that you haven't made all your money selling, you know, orphans' kidneys or something like that. It, the more people... I remember Alan Sugar put his cheque, his income tax... It's a curious character, Sugar. I wouldn't call myself an unalloyed fan of his style or, or, or his public pronouncements. But I do remember seeing a cheque he wrote, um, payable to HMRC. It was some eye-watering sum of money, and he's already in the House of Lords. But that would be good. We should celebrate people who pay the most tax. We should be proud to pay tax. We should be uh, aware of the fact that it, it pays, particularly if you've got a few quid, you're paying to look after and to educate the children of people who haven't got a few quid. That idea of, of taxes somehow being... Uh, well, anyway, that would probably help a bit. So if we talk more about personal finance, if we lionised tax paying, turned it into something that people are proud of and people are rewarded for, instead of getting a seat in the House of Lords because you lend Boris Johnson your holiday home or you've donated five million quid to the Tory party, you should get a seat in the House of Lords if you can demonstrate you pay all income tax due in this country and don't avail yourself of any little offshore um, tricks. And I can't remember what the third bit was, but it's as good as the other two, so stay tuned. It